Hello lovelies and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4 Today is a very, very, very busy day and very exciting I've got quite a few events um, today so I've got a little kind of drop-in thing with green cola um, I've got a kind of little meeting with the Magic Candy Factory I've then got my hair appointment with Sassoon which I'm so excited for then I've actually got a lush event this evening so it's really really busy I've done my makeup the only thing I haven't done is my lips because I do that like the last thing I do before I walk out the door um, but I need to try and figure out what I'm going to wear today because I think it's going to be quite cold I don't know I have got a really nice kind of like it's like a cardigan but doesn't button up it's like a little hook and eye with like a fur collar I'm tempted to wear that with like a big scarf but then it's what do I put underneath it maybe just like a baggy t-shirt and jeans and some cute boots I'm sure I've got knee high boots somewhere I might do that that might look cute right I'm gonna go into try and decide what to wear ready to get this mop sorted I'm gonna do kind of a before and after and um, I think I'm gonna put it all in a blog post and um, so you can see it because I'm going to finally get all of this darkness sorted
know that our treatments have like different sort of themes and they're all very multi-sensory and you're using like like you it's an experience not just a massage so with the karma one this is the newest one we've launched and has anybody here heard about the karma treatment you have yeah heard a little bit about it, yeah. you've heard a little bit yeah so we had our launch um about two months ago i think it was in september now um and it's a two-handed Mass sorry, a four-handed massage. So there's two people involved in this massage and there's two people working in harmony on the body with the music, which has all been inspired by like ancient Indian sort of practices. Um, so they went to India, the developers of the treatment, and they went to different areas, like over the mountains, and like were listening to like ancient practices of the music, and this is where the sort of like inspiration came from. So if you do ever yourself experience this treatment, you'll be on this couch here with this karma table. And have you heard of um, like our karma, like bubble bar and the perfume that we do? Yeah. So it's all like um, sort of inspired as well with that ancient Indian practice and our karma scent, which is patchouli and orange. So nice and spicy also nice and energizing too with the orange in there and um, nice and sort of meditative that's the feel that you get so yeah you're going to lie on this bed if you do experience the treatment and then we've got this bowl here which we use with um, some coconut water just poured onto the forehead and then we've got our different singing bowls so you're just like totally balanced from the mind to the body, you just feel like you've been transported to a different world. It's super cool. It's actually the next day because I got home last night and just passed out. I was so tired. I like just about got my makeup off with a face wipe, which is really really bad. Um, but I had such a fun time yesterday. I am in love with my hair. Ignore my fringe because it's gone a bit skewiff because as soon as I came out of Sassoon out of the Met Quarter the wind decided to kick it up a notch and because he put this um product in my hair to try and make the curls stay in he put like loose waves in and it unfortunately made my fringe go that way and stay that way but I will say my hair I have worn a side fringe since I was about 16 so my hair does naturally go that way now anyway like even when they like obviously when they dyed it to make sure it was even they split it down the middle and when as soon as she split that half of my fringe it did not want to stay she had to pin it down um but i've woken up this morning and my fringe is doing some mad sticky uppy thing um so i thought i would just basically show you before i end this vlog what i got from lush and what i got from the magic candy factory I didn't end up actually going to the green cola event purely because I couldn't find parking um, at the docks because it was at like 11.30 and I emailed them and said look I'm driving over because I'm coming from the Wirral and they'd emailed me and said they were going to give me a 24 pack of their healthy cola to try out over Christmas and I was not about to carry that round all day and I was not about to try and look that home on the train because I have a bad back. So I was like, look, I need to park as close as possible. Um, and they said, they sent me a link to Parkopedia, which I use. Um, they sent me a link to Parkopedia, which I use anyway for finding parking. But um, the only place that they said had parking, I accidentally went into the wrong car park. I went into the car park next to it which is actually a private car park and I didn't realise and then I was about to get out and I noticed that there was no park, like paint display machines and then I found that the car park was next door and as I went to park in it a car that had been behind me had actually drove, parked and was just sat chilling in a, his car. So I thought I'd show you what I got from Lush and the Magic Candy Factory and then I'll end this. 
also from the Magic Candy Factory. He kindly did me a bauble and it's got my initials on one side and a Santa on the other. And this is actual printed 3D jelly, which is incredible. They have a screen so you can customise whatever you want and you can basically design it yourself. And he made this with me and it's a Merry Xmas with a snowflake and then my name. It's covered in like a glitter spray, which is incredible. I'm in love with it. And then we made one of the Jelly Giants, which can you see that? They're incredible. It's four layers of 3D printed jelly in four different flavours. And I'm not going to lie, I cannot wait to eat it. So I am going to put these in my stocking filler gift guide because I think these make incredible stocking fillers. And they're so unique. And you can actually send them a 3D video of them actually being made and on to what I got from Lush <coughs> so we have this big big goodie bag and now I'm not gonna lie last night this bag was making some weird noises to the point I woke up at 5 a.m. and it was making the strangest noises ever and I actually had to put it in the hall because I couldn't sleep thinking something was like crawling around inside and it was cracking and then I've looked in it and I have a feeling it was this bag has like opened out. This is, I believe it's called the Golden Slumber Bath Bomb. And we actually got to make our own on the night. And I have a feeling that was what the cracking was because we had it in, you can probably see it just about there, in like a little plastic ball so that it could set. And I have a feeling that was what the cracking was because this was like jam-packed and then when I opened it this morning it was quite loose in the container. On the night we were given a little word on a piece of card. I put it on this bag so I didn't lose it. So mine was called Confidence and as I left I got given this Synesthesia Bubble Stone and it's like a reusable bubble bar with the word Confidence on. Oh, and it smells incredible. Then we also got a little sample of the Lovely Jubblies Breast Cream, the hand and body cream. We then got the Olive Tree Soap, which I'm intrigued by. This one's a sample. Oh, okay, so the Lovely Jubblies Breast Cream is from the Validation Facial. And then the Olive Tree Soap is from the Planet. Um, spa. It's the Planet Sphere Massage Bar from the Planet Treatment, which, oh, it smells so nice. It's got like a lovely refreshing citrusy smell to it, which I think is going to be perfect during the kind of warmer months. But the last one we've got is the Volcano Ballistic Foot Soak. So this I cannot wait to try because I'm on my feet all the time. So I have a feeling this is going to leave me with incredible feet afterwards. And this one's actually from the Spell Treatment. You can get in the spa. So all of them, as you can see here, all of them are spa exclusive products that we've been given, which is incredible. The Golden Slumber one is a spa exclusive as well, so you can only get it in the treatments. But I will leave a link below to the treatments and then I will leave a link as well to the blog post once I've put it up because it is going to be part of Blogmas and I thought this was quite nice because sometimes the Lush events can be quite similar like the Halloween and Christmas product launch was very similar to the one we did the year before um, even down to like the things that we did so we made a bubble bar we made a bubble bar last year um, so I, I did have so much fun and I'm really glad that I actually went to this one because I was a bit unsure um, I was a bit unsure kind of what it was going to be like, um, I wasn't sure if it was going to be a bit like samey but I'm glad I went now because I'm in love with some of the spa treatments and I really want to go back and get one, particularly the planets one, I think I'm going to save and go and get one of them but I will leave a link if you want any more information, there is also all of the treatments, like little videos about them on YouTube so if you just search any of the treatment names and like put lush spell treatment or lush planet treatment it will bring up videos about them and how they're created and um, which is really really cool and they actually said that 
when they move because if you didn't know the lush lush pool is actually moving right by the primark so it's going to be a huge lush it's going to be five floors i think they said and it's actually going to be bigger than the oxford street one and it's going to have loads of lush lush pool exclusives it's going to have a massive 25 bed spa and i think they said they're actually doing a new spa treatment just for the like for the new building which is incredible but I'm going to leave today's vlog here and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 5. Bye!